Hey guys, it is time for another math video, and this math video is going to focus specifically on two-digit by two-digit multiplication, and we're going to be focusing on using the standard algorithm to solve these problems. Hopefully before you watch this video, you have an understanding of how you could use arrays and of how you could use partial products to solve two-digit by two-digit multiplication problems, um, because you need that background knowledge before you can use the standard algorithm. So if you have that, let's get started. Okay, first thing we have is a two-digit by two-digit multiplication number sentence. So we have 34 times 21. Now when we do the standard algorithm, really what we're doing is we're going to be finding two partial products. Now the way that I like to think about it is we're going to keep that top number just the same, but we're going to split up that bottom number into tens and ones. So you can see right up here I've split 21 into a 20 and two one. Now, this box is showing the area method or the array method to solving multiplication. The way that I would do this is that I would look at each part of the box. So this smaller part of the box over here to the right, um, I would say one times 34 is 34. So this part of the array would show 34 units or 34 squares. And then I have the big part of the box. Well, 34 times 20. So the first thing I would need to do is 34 times 2, and let's see, 2 and 4 is 8, 2 and 3 is 6. Now I know I'm going to have to put a 0 on the end, because I'm not doing 34 times 2, I was doing 34 times 20. Since 20 is 10 times bigger than 2, 680 is 10 times bigger than 68. Now I found my two partial products using the area method. I'm now going to shift and show you how we could do that over here on the left using the standard algorithm. So the way that I like to think of it, let me draw a quick little rectangle. Sorry, should have been more prepared with this. We're going to fill it orange. Okay. Um, so I like to think about it as first covering up the tens so that I'm doing 34 times 1, the same exact way that we did over in this right-hand section of the box. So if I was doing it standard algorithm, I would first look at the ones. 1 times 4 is 4, so I'm going to put my 4 in the ones column. Then I'm going to do 1 times 30. 1 times 30 is 30, and I'm going to just put a 3 because where I'm putting that 3 shows me 30. If I were to actually write 30, that 3 no longer shows me 30. That 3 is showing me 300. I didn't want 300. I wanted 30. So I'm going to just put my 3. Once I've multiplied the 1s, then I'm going to shift that box from the 1s to the 10s. Now I know that this is not a 2, I know that it's a 20. So I'm doing 34 times 20. Since I'm doing 34 times 20 and not times 2, I can automatically assume that there is going to be a 0 in the 1's place because my answer is 10 times bigger than 34 times 2. Then I'm going to multiply standard algorithm just like normal. I'm going to start with the 1's. 2 times 4 is 8, well 2 10's, sorry, 20 times 4 is 80. So I'm going to put my 8 where I would show 80. Then I'm going to do 20 times 30. Well, 20 times 30 is 600. I need to put my 6 in the hundreds place. Now that I have my two partial products, I can go ahead and add them together and get the product of 714. So really, I just took what I did in the box and I put it over here underneath using a more standard algorithm as opposed to drawing that box. I'm going to show you another one without the box. 83 times 44. Really, we're doing, I need that box. Okay. Really, we're doing two separate problems here. We're going to do 83 times 4, and then we're also going to do 83 times 40. So we're going to start with the 1. See? We're going to... Start with the ones. So by covering up that 40, I'm looking at 83 times 4. Now I'm going to use different colors for both of our partial products so that you can see the difference. Um, so we'll start with blue. Okay, 
So I'm starting in the ones. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to keep my two ones and I'm going to regroup the 10. Then I'm doing 8 tens times 4, which would give me 32 tens. Plus another 10 is going to give me 33 tens. 33 tens is the same as 330. So I need to show a 300 and a 30. I'm going to leave those ones because I already figured out how many ones there are. Now I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to switch from 83. So I'm switching from 83 times 4 to now 83 times 40. Again, I can automatically assume that I'm going to have a 0. I don't want that color. A 0 in the 1's place because since I'm dealing with a 40 and not 4, I know my answer is going to be 10 times bigger than 83 times 4. So 4 tens times 3 is going to excuse me, give me 12 tens or the same as 120. So I'm going to keep the 2, my 2 tens, and I'm going to, well, we don't need this anymore. I'm going to regroup 100. Then I'm going to do 4 tens times 8 tens. That will give me 32 tens. 32 tens plus one more 10 would give me 33 tens. 33 tens is the same as 3,300. So I need to show 3,300. Once I have my two partial products, I can go ahead and put them together and get my final product of 3,652. 3, We're looking at one more example. 49 times 16. Again, I'll use two separate colors. Um, this time, well, okay, fine, I'll get the box. Okay. So, starting with the ones. So, let's start with 49 times 6, our first partial product. Using the standard algorithm, I start in the ones. 6 and 9 is 54. I'm going to keep my four ones, regroup my five tens. Then, four tens times 6 would give me 24 tens plus 5 more would give me 29 tens. 29 tens is the same as 290. 290. I already did my ones. I don't need to worry about them. Now I'm going to switch gears. I'm now doing 49 times 10. Because I'm doing 49 times 10, I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 in my ones place because I know my answer is going to be 10 times bigger than 49 times 1. So 10 or a 10 times 9 is 9 tens or 90. Then 1 10 times 4 tens will give me 4, well, 40 tens because I have two zeros, a 0 for my 40 and a 0 for my 10. 40 tens is the same as <coughs> 400. Now that I have my two partial products, I can add together and get 784. So hopefully you understand a little bit more how to use the standard algorithm of multiplication to multiply by two-digit numbers. Um, like I said, we're, we're really focusing on place value, so it would be a great help if you've already understood the um, partial products and if you understand the area model. It really makes sense to see how this relates to this. So hopefully now you can do them on your own, and I will see you later.